Yeah. You see, it's the Gwyn, the Wan Wan. All right, so they're taking, uh, they're forcing a different pickup here now for Kuse. Still, they could go for the claw, just rock with the uh, macro, play around the map. And uh, it's still a very solid marksman anyway, either way. Okay, well, the one one being picked up, Guinevere, is this also just possibly, you know, see us soon taking up the Martes? Once again, we talked about this the last time that matchup picked up. Opt for safety, right? I mean, for the most part, in terms of utility taking for CS soon, if they want to go with the Martes, then there is still always that possibility. Yes, you have the Mortal Coil, you can work around that, but really it's the momentum, and that's what CS soon loves, right? Get those Decimates off early on if they want to work around it, but they go the Lancelot and the Claw Dancer. Which, again, it's more heroes that can kind of play around Magister here. If Magister doesn't land that Violent Requiem, it's problems, just like the problems that Magister had in game number two. Yeah. Don't forget, we can still uh, flex the Guinevere into the Rome. Not True. often a scene anymore. It's still a priority jungle, especially here in M5, and not just in the main stage, even in the wild card. Uh, seems to be more of the play, but still, uh, cannot discount that. I wonder. No, it's not warranted. You're up against a Valentina. It's not warranted to just go ahead and pick up the Diggy of your Deus Vault. But it's a Diggy and one one. Something about it that seems so enticing, but you don't see enough picks. So it's Minotaur instead. Yeah. I feel like Diggy would be a little too risky, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, for the most part, you're like too squishy uh, to kind of deal with this. And, and going back to what we saw, the performance previously, you know, with this Lancelot pick, you know you're going to have to have an answer for it. And having that Minotaur there will kind of help alleviate some of that, of course, pressure. But even looking at this, right, the, the Valentina comparison. But Ra, wow. he's been doing he's been doing pretty good on this. The KDA is quite insane. Yeah, number four in KDA with that hero actually, and most used hero, high high win rate. It seems like Dave Vu was struggled with the Valentina pickup. Okay, coming into these last bands though, did this it Cho? I was thinking to take Lapu. Okay. Yeah, still got to focus on the XP lane, right? Uh, if we look back at even the previous game, like how many times did we say leading into that draft, like give Give Kid Bomba one of those Bomba heroes, right? It was Bomba the Trizla, hero. the Bomba mentality the to be able to channel here. that in. That's going to be the case here once again, even for Deus Vault. How do they work around that? Novario is going to be banned out here. They're looking as well to kind of choke in some of the options really for the mid lane for Devu. Once again, they already took out the Lilia. They take out the Novaria. What is left on the table? against this Valentina pick, because typically you even see the Faramis in that matchup, but it's gone now. So what are we left with here? Is it a possibility that Devu wants to go with a Gord, which we saw previously going against a Valentina? Oh, but Is that up their I hero mean, pool? Maybe. Uh, maybe. I know you'd love that nice. Yeah. I don't know. I was going to say ban the Diggy. I didn't Diggy really have time to. That would definitely put a wrench in like everything they have, all three yeah. of their heroes right there. And I think that's what they were thinking about too. It's like, do we ban that? Do, are they really going to pick that? Are they really going to pick that? Are we going to waste the ban? Yeah. It's definitely safe because if that came in, it would literally just shatter their whole composition. Yeah. Um, Gord, I mean, yeah, it, it could happen. It could, it, it could happen. Uh, I, I see two picks here, though, that will make it struggle. Yes, you can pick up the Gord uh, to give a little bit of difficulty to, to the, the Valentina, the but King, then though. you're up against Lancelot and Claude. You don't know what the Roamer is. It might be something that comes out of nowhere. If ever the mid lane pick is going to come last, they pick their XP laner pick now. Uh, either they're going to get the Terizla for Kid Bomba. If it's not going to be the Terizla, then they get something like the, Ka the Kali instead. Kali, yeah. Yeah. Mid lane, though, really, from what we've seen so far, uh, with these Paquito. bands coming out, yeah, there's, there's still, I, I mean, this could be a time, too, that we see something different pop up, right? Uh, but really, is that the time to kind of go and opt for some of these <laughs> niche picks? There it is. Oh, you called Guys. it, my man. All right. Wow. Well, I, know, I know the high laugh. Five. You know, high five. I'll high five you, bro. You I, know, can't, I can't reach you, but here's a spiritual high a five. Spiritual high five. Uh -huh. Hey, it really... As, as much as I wanted to go with Gord, again, when you're looking at the bands, right, and knowing the matchup, it's Valentina. We even saw this back in the MPL leagues, right? Yeah. A lot of teams were actually doing this. They were picking up the Gord to go against the Valentina, especially the fact that you didn't have a Faramis available to you. So, you know, it makes sense. But, yeah, like you said, in going against a Lancelot and a Claude who are 
going to be coming in from different angles. Very hard to even land that Mystic yep. projectile I'm is going to be the difficult part. Oh. And then, not to mention, oh. that, 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 that's, that's even worse. That's a rough board game right yep, yeah. that's, that's a rough board game. It is Sunset Lover, though. Yeah. It is. You but know? still, you can only... Whether I don't know what he's going to take. Is it the Purify, the Flicker? But you can only dodge so many things, gentlemen. Uh, he knows. He's like, yeah, this is going to be tough. Let me drink some water real fast. Hydrate. You got to hydrate before long, this game. Could be a long game right here. <laughs> Kid Bomba now going to need to pick something up. Does he go for the typical Riz? Drizzla, everyone's dive. Yuzon won't work out unless they're seriously just going to use the Petrify. Maybe Paquito? Kindness it looks like it's the it. surest path oh. to that ruination. There you go. Okay. He's on. Huh. Wouldn't have been my pick, but it seems like Petrify is the way to go. And then at the same time with everyone just diving, but ah, you're also giving the Black Dragon form to the Valentina while you have a Gord? Yeah. That's tough, buddy. That, that, <laughs> maybe that's why he took a sip of water. Yeah. He's like, hey, I'm going to pick this huge yeah. yeah. you You're know? already talking what? about it. <laughs> He's like, all right, guys, uh, here's what I think. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just go for it. Just go for it, right? And really, when it comes down to it, with as much initiation and aggression that can be thrown at this lineup, really, you just you have to take care of it. You have to be able to peel in certain situations. You have to be able to decide, is this the right time to actually go and be the aggressor, or do we need to be more on that back foot, the defense? We saw a very long game, the previous one, and will they be able to once again, Deus Fall, take it? to game at number five, extend the series ahead of them as they get it situated once again, going into the land of dawn. Deus Vault versus CU soon. Tournament lives come down to this as it's match point for CU soon. Yeah, so the question all of our minds is, is can Devu equalize here, right? We were a little iffy about some of their picks on the draft, so it's definitely not gonna be an easy one. Folks, I'm just gonna say it right now. If Deus Vault win this game, and Sunset Lover has a respectable Gord KDA. We can just call him the greatest Gord of all time, man. Because yep. this is a game on paper where Gord is going to be almost impossible to pull off. It's going to take next level teamwork to make sure Sunset Lover stays alive and he gets the free hit. Yeah, he's going to be playing from a distance here. Uh, even with that, again, the only aggression that happens here, Magistrayer. Okay. Damage on Raw already. Oh, going. The finish. Gonna keep Whoa. going. First blood over to Devu. Still, again, uh, Magister, the fact that he picked up the Squinavir and is gonna get that first blood is a great start here for Devu. As we talk about even this lineup and how they're gonna play around that. Well, you get a first blood on your jungler. That's great. Okay. So now they as both are making the right call of just trying to control around the mid. A little bit too early right now to really apply pressure into the side lanes, but if you want to apply pressure into the side lanes indirectly, you do so by controlling the middle of the map. Ooh. That opens up more rotations for you. I like what Deus Volt are doing here now. See you soon. How will you respond? Look at Magister. Looking for the pick here, being patient with it. Here comes MP as well. He's going to get the knock up. Violent Requiem. That's a lot of damage. Can't get to finish the stun. Go! First, another kill on the MP there. Kid Bomba looking for more. Sunset Lover here to back him up. And now Kid Bomba in a little bit of trouble. Felix going to get the dash through and the kill. A one for one, but they take the jungle. Yeah, unfortunately, no ultimate available for Sunset Lover in that exchange. He does have the level four now. Ooh, turtle. Felix with a final slash. Oh. Magister able to finally get the turtle, but it was a little bit oh. dangerous. Oh, whoa! With oh. the knockup, Felix forward. goes down. Devu starting out strong. Oh, ho, ho. and they're already exchanging TPs. That's how you know a team is confident that they can force game number five, despite it looking very difficult for one of your picks. But Devu's Volt right now have made the right early game decisions. Chase down the Valentina, make that struggle. Be patient, wait, and understand the rotation of your opposing jungler. Punish and then take him down. Get the turtle as well. Maximize an ultimate to secure another kill. Again, see you soon. The question still stands, how will you respond? All right, it's gonna be a long road for Devu, but they're starting off the beginning very well right now. 1K gold lead, turtle gonna be up in about 70 seconds. Devu definitely feeling in control. And the thing I like about it, too, is the fact that, you know, playing with this lead, Devu putting pressure where they have to around Ooh. it. It's still going. Another knock up on to MP. Whoa. A lot of damage and another kill. Carvey putting that one in his pocket this time. 
Again, going back to it, putting pressure where they have to. Sometimes it's just responding to the rotations from Sia soon. Of course, not allowing them. Oh, on again? another one. Ooh, okay. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have yeah, it. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Right, 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 right. He's still a threat. <laughs> I was scared there for a moment for Ra. <laughs> but yeah, this is what. Uh, yeah, you put in the. Uh, you, you said the right thing there, Nice. It was just putting the pressure at the right place at the right time. And uh, once again, get Bomba, can he? Still going. A lot of damage on oh. Felix. Magister, 3 0 2 right now. He's had a rough couple games, but this time, he's feeling it. Magister's on fire, man. I yeah. mean, this is the best start you can have here. Uh, again, when it was only the first blood and now leading into this. And with that, I mean, even looking at things kind of unfold. Sunset Lover also took the Arcane Boots, by the way, on the Gord, so he's not going for the cooldown, he's going for the damage. He is going to be building into the Talisman first, I believe, and then he'll be scaling up really quickly with that. So we'll see how that all, once again, plays a part here. No, again? No, not wow. again! Madister 402, we're four minutes in. That is one kill a minute right now. Going to work on the turtle now, and see who soon can do nothing about it. This is all Magister, man. Yep. I mean, this is great rotation team-wide by Deus Vult, what they're doing. But he's just understanding his opposing jungler so well. We are witnessing a jungler reading a fellow jungler to the point where he's there in the nearest bush a step ahead of the time, and then he's going to pick him off, combo, take him out, rinse, and repeat. It's, it's, it's the glasses, man. He's it's been like downloading. In, yeah, he's been downloading. You know those anime characters with the glasses? It's like, oh, he's just a yeah. side character. He's just there. Next thing you know, yeah, he just the, does that thing. Ching, ching. The light shines. The sun the shine hits it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that hits it perfectly, right? That's what he's pretty much he's activated at this point. Now 3K ahead for the majority of the series. If the whole series. Oh, hold on. We are going to pull on a Kid Bomba. Kid Bomba goes down raw, picking up the kill. Going to move on to the tower, but up in the top side. Carvey going to move on to the tower of his own. See you soon. Comes out on top of that one, though. A nice trade for SYS. Okay. So they're finding the right calls now, getting those pulls, getting those pickoffs. They'll be playing around that. So now let's see. Oh, hey, they get the flicker. That's <laughs> still, you know, that's still something out. Yeah. But even with that, that's how much of a threat Magister is right now in this Guinevere. That's gonna actually get them that tier one turret in the top side as well. Still putting the pressure once again. This side of the jungle, they gotta be careful. Oh, Sawo comes zip in to disrupt a little bit. Magister was looking for that purple MP, able to secure it though. Magister, pop that to dodge the final slash, huh? Oh, wow. Goes under. Wait a second. Black Dragon comes in under the tower. Sawa with an Owens Fury, able to get the knock up. Madison taking a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Sunset Lover able to find two. King and Felix go down, all for the price of Bomba. It's a good trade for Deus Vault. Again, Deus Vault now. We talked about the Gord and how difficult it would be boxing Boxy. the game weight. Oh, oh, that's a big pull on to Sunset Lover. Sunset Lover trying to get away. Kusei, a couple more shots. Sunset gets a little Whoa. bit of a heal, but here comes Madister. No, Requiem, though. They are able to find Sunset Lover, but Madister is going to keep chasing oh. and finds Raw. Not only that, but Kusei goes down to the top side. Carvey looking for more. Boxy Crossbow next. of Tang and King goes down. What a Who are they? fight back, bite back. Who are they? <laughs> what is happening here? Once again, Teu's fault. Keeping things together. But see you soon. Again, when you have to look at what is the condition here for them to get back into this game despite this lead, it is relatively small, 3,000 gold. They can keep it under control, or really yeah. objectively, right? Is it better? Yeah. Just give up that turtle, let them take it. It looks like that's going to happen here. Ooh. The King will just go ahead and try to keep this under control at the bottom lane. Yeah. Uh, contesting will be way too difficult right now, near impossible. So, too soon we'll just be trying to get wins elsewhere across the map. They can still play around that pickoff. It still is a very strong hold, and they have the abilities to make the most out of a Kaja pull. But now, oh, another one! No, Carvey with the outmaneuvers, able to take down MP himself. Spicy. 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 Very spicy. Hot. Carvey's hot right now. When we were talking about the fact that Sunset Lover was going to have a work cut out for him with a lineup from Sia Soon, it, that is not the case. Because Magister is just doing work. He's overtime right now on this Guinevere. Sao as well, able to actually utilize this Minotaur this time around, finding a lot of those setups with the Minotaur Inferior. Has the nine assists already. Once again, Sia Soon just kind of <gasps> scraping by, trying to find whatever they can. And a lot of the times, that's just boxy, right? He's got to use the Divine Judgment when it's available, but. Even when you find it, you have to deal with everything that Dave's Vault throws at him. Yeah. 
Why worry about your Gord getting dived on when you can just play to a lead and to a point where Siyu Soon can't even dive on the Gord? Yeah. That was just it. Now we're not, we're barely gonna see uh, Sunset Lover have a difficult time. The members of Deus Vault have the item advantage, the ability advantage. Chao has been on fire, honestly, on this Minotaur. 0-0-9. Zero, zero, yep. He's been timing the Minoan Fury incredibly well. That's gonna be hard for Siyu Soon if they wanna try to get out of this. I think it's just a matter of buying time at this point. They do have some late game potential. Yes. But Dave Vu is closing in quickly. So with that lead, again, they're going to go ahead and just work on these turrets. They can't get this one just yet, but they're 20 seconds away from the Lord here. Real quick, before that happens, how's the items looking? All right, so for that one one, already up to a golden staff. So two items here for the Claude, so it's going to be a while until he gets his third there. Big lead for the Guinevere, as expected, and it's a big lead for that board. A priority item, though, was just built up for, for the Valentina, the Lightning Truncheon, but compared to the Gord, who is already close to his third item here, well, uh, the damage will be respectable, but not quite there yet for CSU Soon's Mage. Yeah, so I think, again, if you're CSU Soon, just give this one up. Try to go ahead and defend as much as possible. Yeah. Again, with the lineup that you have, you really need time. You know, you're under the 10-minute mark. Lord going to be secured for Day's Vault. Items still important for Sia soon to pick up here if they want to stand a chance in actually defending the further lords. Now, with this being the first one, it should be made quick work of, right? They have damaged themselves in terms of raw. They can clear some of the ways using the final slash if they have to from Felix. But still, ultimately, Ooh, Magister, Magister able to lock on again with a violent Requiem. Sawo also going to come in with a no one's fury. Oh. Raw goes down. Felix will be oh. the next to fall. And, and, and Boxy. Carvey with a triple kill. Devu stomping down with Dust Boot. Dave's Vault's not going to give him time. As they get that triple there, Lord's still up on the top side. Two members left to defend. A full man for Deus Vault. Precision EECA Engineering. It looks like they might actually be able to force oh. that game five. Madison finds another one. The King MP goes down. They're going to move in. The Flicker, the Magic Gush. Who's in the backside with a blazing duet? Felix oh. with a big oh. final slash on oh. several members. Carvey trying to dance around. The lead. Is he going to pop it? He doesn't have it. Decides not to use it. Going to oh. melt down. The Finally, crystal. he comes in. The Crystal will fall. Deuce Fault equalize the score. A very quick game this time around from Deus Vault, taking us to a game five. All passion by Sawo. You thought it was over. You thought the Owls would run away with it. But the Dark Knights are knocking on the castle of the Cambodian Kings. Game five. The night is not over yet. Wow. We saw it earlier. We saw what Kid Boba did the previous game. It's about to happen possibly here if they play like that once again. Let's go ahead and have this broken down by Leo and Mirko on the panelist stand. Is this not what we expected from the Dark Knights of the EECA? They are late game specialists and they have turned the momentum around on their Cambodian opponents. We're looking at a game five elimination series. Is the drama not palpable? Is it not up to here, the tension in the Rizal Memorial Coliseum? And to, to make it even better, do we have a conversation backstage that if, if Deus Volt were able to win game number four, the odds for See You Soon to beat them only gets even worse now. And man, that wasn't just a win, Leo. Game four, it was Deus Volt domination. It was a statement, all right? There were so many things that were going against Deus Volt. So many picks, so many turns, but as soon as the game loaded in, as soon as Magistor found that early kill up top, as soon as objective after objective came in, it just seemed like it was Deus Volt's time to shine. And now it's clear the momentum has swung on over to the ECA with Cambodia left reeling. We're awarding our MVP to none other than, of course, Magister. Again, his Guinevere was the sole reason why starting minute one, see you soon, could not see a mid-game wherein if they did not stop this, the madness that Magister was pulling, 
then they were going to go to game five. And it comes down to the base damage again. I love that Magister took the risk here to go for Thrill again. They just relied on that base damage in the early game. What already makes Guinevere such a hassle to deal with, the CC, the early game damage, put the Thrill on, and then you'll see how much damage he does. It just really feels like it was a big throw-off for the side of See You Soon. They weren't ready for that damage. Heck, MP the King died six times, Leo. A solid six when in the other two games where he dominated, he was the main star. Game one, Lancelot on MP the King hit Diff. This time, he was hit in Diff. a different way. Did not see <laughs> that coming. Again, the trill, I will uh, agree with you because a good friend of ours watching right now is seeing the item builds, and this is how you build Guinevere. Again, some would say you need maybe one magic item, but I am of the camp that, hey, just build your tank, let the CC speak for itself, and then let the follow-through shine. It's already no secret that these Volt rely on Sunset Lover so much. And I guess it's the whole offensive line of thinking and play that Magister has that allowed for Sunset Lover to get away with its gourd. They've constantly turned the tides around, right? And it's crazy. Again, Na'Vi, the team that Sunset Lover and Sawa were in at M3. They were reverse swept by Todok. Now they're on the way for their own reverse sweep. Oh. And we have both the longest game of the day and the shortest game of the day in this series with Magister and the rest of the team just popping off. Even Carvey, man. I gotta say, early on, I was actually doubting the pick for Carvey, right? Is he comfortable on the pick? He showed us all around with a few triple kills. And yes, Carvey is here on the 1-1. One -one. Not just to pop random crossbow tanks, but to carry the team with the crossbow tank. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong. Carvey scored two, three kills back to back, right? Yep. Two, two of them. Three clear kills. And he, again, against a lineup like this from See You Soon, it usually doesn't happen because, again, they have such a nice way of overloading uh, her cleanse, but they never got to do it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was also deathless. It was. Everything went right. Even the Yu Zong pick towards the end, right? Even though I would say in the lane itself, Kid Bamba was picked off a couple of times. It was kind of like, it was a Baloisky special, man. It was a death that was worth it. He was always able to sacrifice one of these random deaths. Sure, it looks kind of bombastic in a bad way, but it turned out to be bombastic in a good way. And again, that's what makes Deus Volt so dangerous, so effective as a team, especially in the late game, is because when you think you have them up against the ropes, it's actually where they want to be. And now, in a full-on series, they also just wanted to be at match point, and that's what got them in the zone, what activated the Bomba mentality across all five members, nay, all six, including Coach Fly Solo, because his draft, again, as risky as it was, putting the Gord in that situation, Picking that Yu Jong last, it was just worth it. The momentum doesn't start unless it is everything on the line, down to the wire, the final game, perhaps of the series, when See You Soon went to match point. At this point, we might as well call it not momentum, bombentum. Bombentum. Uh, I'll have to meet with uh, the rest of Bombanatics PH to see if that's approved. But again, 10.56 56, a showcase of what's possible in this current metagame. Game prior to this, we went past 30. So again, folks, looking at that MVP build for the Guinevere over there, Thrill makes a difference. Again, just those extra hits, triggering that passive and jumping in, it's worth it. I think it's less about the base damage. I think it's more of just, just the hop, the jump. The consistent damage coming through as well, right? I mean, throughout the series, throughout the matches that we've seen for Kusei, this is what really stood out to me. The fact that he did not go for the Master Assassin. Sure, you would say, Mirko, it's on a Claude against a Wanwan. You'd expect him to go for more defense. Sure, I get that. But honestly, the way that he was landing as well, it just feels like he kind of already lost a bit of confidence. I don't want to say a lot of confidence, but it's a bit. When he was dominating throughout Game 1, 2, and 3, it was completely different. This Kusei was playing a farm and then later on carry. And that's why the gold lane experience is a double-edged sword. It's wanting to say, guys, give me a second. I still need to farm up. I will help out. And another to say, I'm already farmed up. Let's go. If you're caught between an awkward middle of the pack situation, it's not good for you. You will lose. And that's what happened here, 1056 in. I'm looking at MP's build, yeah. and it's so low to the ground. It's not a good situation or a not good place to be if you're building hybrid tank Lancelot. There was just not much he was putting on the board. 
Not at all. And, and you know, in game number one, he proved to us that even a non-meta pick could work. In game four, he kind of proved to us that if you force it, it'll still be hard to execute. And that's what we saw from him, man. 0-6-1. That's not the normal MP performance that we've come to expect, especially after the first three games. And even here, the sandbag, Felix, right? The this fact that, you know, 0-6-1 and you don't take the most damage shows you just how squishy the tank slot really is right now. Yeah, uh, again, everything going towards Deus Vult's way. And of course, don't forget Sawo's assist. I'm pretty sure these numbers count, not just for in-game, but even outside. Because I'm sure as of the moment, as we speak, he's already psyching up, making sure that the bombastic mentality, the bomba mentality, and of course the bombentum is on their side. Look oh, at the approved. damage dealt. So it's approved? No, 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 I'm just, I'm trying to get it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. Going back, again, looking at the team fight participation, 72%, again, it's about the same, 70, 80%, except for Kid Bomba. So what does that mean for this vote? Why is Kid Bomba very low on the KP? I feel like, again, it just comes down to him being the sacrificial lamb, right? In a lot of these scenarios, he just dives into the back, acts as a distraction, and even carries on his job desk as a side laner. He'll be the one that you send onto the side lanes to just clear it up, to do the, the dirty work on the team. Because Carvey, their main win condition, popped off. That was what they were looking for in game number one and game number two. 